What's happening around the world? It's time for another serving of news bites. 最近国内外发生哪些大事？午餐搭配 ISRT News Bites， 慢慢的一口接一口，吸收最新时事和趣闻。Hello, everybody, and welcome to a new episode of News Bites. I'm Ryan Drillsma, and I'm Nancy Sun. In today's news, Taiwan's population falls. A dog saves a man after a fall. And are dogs bilingual? All that and more coming up next. Top of Taiwan. Taiwan 人口连续两年下降 Taiwan population falls again. Every year, a branch of Taiwan's government, called the Ministry of the Interior, publishes statistics about Taiwan's population. 内政部每年发布台湾人口的新统计 The statistics 统计 include the size of Taiwan's population. 人口 This year, the statistics showed Taiwan's population got smaller again. At the end of 2021, Taiwan's population was 23,375,314 million three hundred and seventy-five thousand three hundred and fourteen. That is one hundred and eighty-five thousand two hundred and twenty-two people smaller than last year. And it's the second year in a row the population fell. One reason for this is that less babies are being born. The number of babies being born has been falling for six years. Over two hundred and ten thousand babies were born in 2015, but just over one hundred and fifty thousand were born last year. Another reason is that more people are leaving Taiwan and less people are coming in. Almost one hundred and eighty thousand people emigrated or left Taiwan in 2021, and just under seventeen thousand immigrated or entered Taiwan. This could be because of the pandemic, or it could be a phenomenon, Shen Xiang, that is happening for other reasons. The government did not make this clear. Sometimes it does feel like there are too many people around, but the government is worried if the population continues to fall, it could cause problems. There may not be enough people of working age to support all the old people that will live here. 政府担心人口下降过多，可能造成工作年龄人口无法负担已退休人口的生活费。Going global. 雪橇狗助受困主人保暖成英雄 Dog saves climber in Croatia mountains. Dogs are said to be man's best friend, and one dog recently proved this by keeping his owner warm until they could be rescued. Yuan Jiu. A man was hiking in a mountain range in Croatia, Croatia 的山脉 along with some other people and his eight-month-old best friend North, who is an Alaskan Malamute, a very fluffy gray and white dog. But while the man was walking, he slipped and injured his leg. 狗狗的主人践行时滑倒，无法站起来 He couldn't get back up. And his friends couldn't reach him either. The man was in danger because it was very cold. Luckily, his dog was there to save the day. While the man's other friends called for help, North lay on top of him, and he did this for thirteen hours until the hikers could finally be rescued. North used his body heat to keep his owner warm. 当主人的朋友去求救时 ，North 趴在主人的身上帮他保暖，就这样趴了十三个钟头。Finally, the hikers were found by first responders. Those are the people that go to rescue people from the mountains. They said North saved his owner's life. And his owner called North a real miracle, 真正的奇迹。Wouldn't it be great to have this good of a friend? Today's feature: 狗能听得懂不一样的语言 Dogs can understand different languages. Speak. Do you speak to your dog in more than one language? 
If you do, and you're afraid he or she may not understand, you have nothing to worry about. Researchers in the United States have recently found that dogs are in fact bilingual, 双语 and can tell different languages apart, 分辨 They even found that the older the dog is, the better the dog's brain is at telling apart familiar, 熟悉的 and unfamiliar languages. Researchers, 研究员 have also found that whales, songbirds, bats, and dolphins can communicate in different accents, and the accent depends on where they come from. Dogs can understand different languages. Older dogs are better at telling familiar and unfamiliar languages apart. 狗能听得懂不一样的语言，而年长的狗语言能力比较好。The recap. So in today's news bites, this year Taiwan's population got smaller again, and it's the second year in a row the population fell. The government is worried if the population continues to fall, it could cause problems. And a man was hiking in a mountain range in Croatia, but he fell and injured his leg. His dog lay on him and kept him warm for thirteen hours until they were rescued. He called his dog a real miracle. And researchers in the United States have recently found that dogs are bilingual. Dogs can understand different languages. Older dogs are better at telling languages apart. And that's today's episode of News Bites. This week, we asked you to have your say about your favorite sound. Twelve-year-old Sophia from Shuntian Elementary School in Taichung says she loves the sound of pouring soda. My favorite sound is the sound of pouring a soda. It makes me feel thirsty and hungry, and also feeling of family reunion. I like to drink soda. However, my mother doesn't let me drink it often. That's why whenever I hear the sound of pouring soda, I feel so joyful. And seven-year-old Arsene from Jiaoyong Primary School in Pingdong says he loves the sound of waterfalls. My favorite sound is the sound of waterfall. When I'm angry, I will come down after I hear the sound of waterfall. My mom said it probably because it resembles the sound when I was in her womb. And that's all for this week's Have Your Say. Remember, if your answer was chosen for the show this month, we'll be sending you a gift in the mail. There won't be a Have Your Say question next week, as we're getting ready for the Lunar New Year. But we've still got more episodes of News Bites coming up, so stay tuned. ICRT 与教育部国民及学前教育署下次继续和您聊新闻。ICRT app 和网站也能重复收听。More local and international news next time on News Bites. Brought to you by the K to 12 Education Administration. Find past episodes available on the ICRT website and app. <laughs>